Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be reviewing another terminal based application. Today I'm going to be reviewing a terminal based uh, interactive process viewer. Um, that interactive process viewer is called HTOP. For those of you that have been around Linux for a little while, you are probably familiar with the top command where in a command line you type the word top top it's one of the, the oldest uh, Linux commands you hit enter and you get a list of all the processes running on your system pretty neat the only problem with the top program is you really can't do much with it other than it shows you you know all the processes running on your system uh, it's not interactive and that is where HTOP comes in. It is a better version of this top program that allows you to, you know, increase or decrease niceness and priority, you know, filter uh, results. So HTOP is available in pretty much everyone's repos. Uh, it's one of the most popular system monitoring programs, if you will. Uh, in Ubuntu or Debian, you would simply sudo apt install HTOP. So sudo apt install htop, hit enter and it will install in Debian or Ubuntu. For those of you running ARP, sudo pacman uh, dash capital S htop should install htop for you. htop is also available in the Gen2 repos, Fedora repos, SUSE repos. Today I'm running Antergos Linux, which is an Arch based Linux distribution. I've already installed htop on this machine so all I need to do is open a terminal and type HTOP HTOP hit enter and this is the HTOP program for you guys that are running any of the big desktop environments like GNOME, KDE, XFCE, LXQT, Unity, Budgie uh, when you guys install HTOP you will also be able to launch HTOP, HTOP from a icon in whatever menu system your desktop environment uses. It will open it up in the default terminal emulator for your machine. So when you first launch HTOP, the, the first thing you'll probably notice is at the top, it lists the CPUs of your machine. Now I'm running Antergos today in a virtual machine. I have a six core CPU on my main machine that I'm running this on, but in this virtual machine I'm only giving Antergos two cores. So we have our two cores here and the percentage of those CPUs, uh, what is being used on those CPUs, pretty low uh, CPU usage right now. I don't have much running here. Then we have our memory. Currently Antergos is using 750 megs of 5.85 gigs of memory that I've given this virtual machine. Uh, no swap is being used. Then you see uh, task information. We have uh, 86 tasks. We have 196 processes. Only one process is currently running. Only uh, one of those 196, well now two, well, it fluctuates between one and two. Asking for CPU time. Then we have our load average here. And then we have the uptime for our computer. Uh, I've been running Antergos here in this virtual machine for an hour and three minutes and 32 seconds so that's our uptime alright then you will notice that we have our list of processes that are running on the machine here and they're organized in columns and you see various uh, column names here such as PID which is the process ID this is the number ID number that is assigned to the process when it is first launched by the user or by whatever system process launched it. Then we have our the user, the name of the user that launched the process. We have priority, we have niceness, then we have uh, vert, res, and shr which are they have uh, something to do with the uh, the memory component of the process. I'm, I'm really not sure what these involve. We have CPU percentage, mem percentage, uh, the time that the process has been running and then the command which is uh, the command that launched the process now I mentioned that uh, HTOP was an interactive version of uh, the top program so what commands can you run well your hotkeys are at the bottom you have F1 for help so if I type F1 nope, oh, I got an error message well, let's get rid of that but this is the help screen let me escape out of that 
Then we have F2 for setup. I've never actually played around with the setup of HTOP. I've always just used it in its default configuration, but for those of you that want to play around with it a bit more, uh, you can do some setup here. So escape out of that. I'm not a, any kind of system admin or anything like that. No, I'm just your average Linux desktop user, so uh, I don't know some of the more advanced ways of using HTOP. Mainly I just use it to uh, find, you know, programs that are sucking up too much memory, uh, kill, killing processes, that sort of thing. So F3 is the search for HTOP. You see F3 opens up this little search command and I can actually type, uh, let's see, what is running in this Antergos virtual machine? Well, I've got VirtualBox, obviously, the VirtualBox guest edition is running, so I can do a search for the box. Okay, let me escape back out of that. Uh, another hotkey is the F4 key is our filter. Again, we can do some filtering uh, the names of the processes. F5 is our tree view. Now you notice all of a sudden the processors are no longer listed as they were before in single processes. Now they're in tree, uh, a tree view, kind of a hierarchical uh, listing. For example, say one of these processes may be a terminal and then uh, you'll have a tree view of HTOP where I loaded HTOP in the terminal that sort of thing so it'll give you you know uh, basically almost like a directory structure a hierarchical structure of the processes and finally for the hotkeys we have F7 and F8 which are the niceness uh, keys they basically uh, decrease niceness and increase niceness what is niceness uh, well, the uh, niceness level determines uh, how much CPU processing time uh, a certain process is given. And then finally we have F10 to quit. Uh, you could also just type Q on your keyboard to quit HTOP and that gets you right out of it. So let me get back into HTOP. That is HTOP in a nutshell. Uh, very, very, very popular uh, interactive process viewer. Obviously people that you know work in a, a system admin sort of field would would love HTOP. It is, is one of the standard programs folks in that line of work would install on the system. For your average desktop Linux user, uh, do you really need something like HTOP? No, well you know a lot of your graphical desktop environments like GNOME and KDE and Unity and that, those sort of things come with graphical system monitors that show you much of the same information you could find in HTOP. It shows you list of processes and uh, you can do a lot of the same functionality increase or decrease niceness or priority and that sort of thing. Now I will mention uh, for those of you that want to play around with the niceness on a process you know, increasing or decreasing niceness. You can only increase or decrease the niceness level on something that your user had actually launched. So, in this case, my username on this is Antergos. I could uh, play around with the niceness level on anything that the Antergos user launched, but the root user, I can't change anything that the root user uh, launched. To change the niceness level of anything the root user launched, I would need to actually log in as root and start HTOP as root. Anyway, that's HTOP. Give it a try, guys. Peace.